Hello, sixth grade. So I know we've discussed making planters. I've even left this message for seventh and eighth graders so you guys can all see the same project. We talked about how to make a pinch pot and set the pinch pot aside to create for your famous planter head. I'm pretty excited about these because we've been working with them for a little while. So let me tell you what I've done. Maybe around 20 minutes ago, I got these, my, my original pinch pots, out of the bag. I wanted them to be starting to dry out a little bit, not enough that they're starting to change color, but I wanted to dry out a little bit. They're actually not as dry as I wanted, but I think I'm okay with it because it's giving me a little bit of time to go back and fix some of these cracks. The reason why I want these to dry out is so that they will have some strength if I need to push against them. Another option I would have is I could take some napkins, not toilet paper, because we all know that toilet paper is more expensive right now and a precious commodity. So I'm gonna take some napkins if I need to, to give some more support on the inside of my pots. I also have a split screen going up because as I'm making this video, I'm also looking at my computer and I have a picture of Baby Yoda, the child pulled up, because that's the one I want to attempt to make right now. It's not going to be like perfect spot on, but I'm going to do what I can to add details and add things that will make it more realistic, but more workable. So as you're working on your planter, have one of the pictures pulled up so you can see it. This planter, like I said, is still probably not dry enough, but it is giving me a little bit of freedom that if I know that the planter, like the top of the planter needs to be a little bit curved. I could take a toothpick, you're noticing I'm using a toothpick, and carve some extra detail out of it. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to make the head a little bit more curved. And I'm trying to take a little curve out of the side of it. So in case you're item is not supposed to be straight across it's supposed to be more curved that gives you something to work with and a thought of how to do this nice i'm going to drop this back down so you guys can see a little bit more on some of this detail that i'm creating so here it is now i've got the curve going on i'm pretty decently happy with the shape of it all so i'm going to take this and i'm going to set it aside and i'm not going to touch it I'll use it as a visual to see how big stuff needs to be, but I don't want to touch it until I'm really ready to add the pieces. So here we go. I'm going to take some of our leftover clay. And I know I need to make some eyebrows for the child. I need to make some eyes. I need to make a little nose and some ears. I'm going to start with the ears because they're pretty decent size. So let's start with the slab. I'm going to roll the slab out. I've talked about this a little bit before, but I want to roll and flip. I don't want to leave it down on one side because your clay starts to stick. You can tell when your clay is getting too thin because it'll actually roll up and onto a rolling pin. I want a pretty decently sized surface to work with. So one thing I'll do is I'm just going to keep rolling the same direction. I think this will work best for my project. If you want it more into a circle shape, then you would roll probably up and down like this. Or if you want it wide and more square, then kind of keep that idea going. All right, I think this is thin enough. I want the ears to not fall over when they're attached onto the sides. But at the same point in time, I do want to make sure that the ears are thin enough so they don't fall out. And my ears need to be the same size. So I'm going to make one and that I'm pretty pleased with. And then after I make that one, I'm going to lay it on my clay and just trace it to create the second shape. My person's ears, my character's ears, Yoda's, are a triangle shape. So here's my triangle shape. But if you notice with the clay, when I try to pull backwards with my toothpick, oh, when I tried to pull the backwards with the toothpick, it, it caught in the clay. So I stopped what I was doing and I'm gonna come the other direction. All right, so now I'll take this ear and I'm gonna hold it up here 
to the side of the planter to get an idea if this looks right because I'm going to use it twice. I really need it to look right. It's good. I think I prefer a little bit larger though. So I'm just going to lay the whoops one down and I'm going to trace it again and try and make it larger. Yoda's ears are a pretty defining point in him. So if you get more, at least one thing right on your item, if you get one characteristic or one piece or part of it correct, that will make the whole thing a whole lot better. Certain people, certain characters have a very specific eye or they have a very specific, oh yeah, baby, that's exactly what I wanted. They have very specific nose. They have certain things that are that character and nothing else. And Yoda is known for his ears. So I'm going to trace this again. I'm going to flip it. I don't know if I really need to, but I'm going to trace it one more time. And so now I have two ears. Once I work to get the first one, the exact size and shape that I wanted, I now have two of these that fit. They're the correct size. They're going to work really well for my planters. Perfect. On the side, they look good. All right, another thing that I noticed about Baby Yoda's ears, or even Big Yoda, <laughs> Yoda's ears, um, is they have a line on the inside of them that has a little, that makes the ears look like they're dipped in. So I could take my finger and push to create and create an indent. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. I am looking at something this whole time I'm working. I'm definitely looking at stuff. All right. There you go. The other option is if I wanted it to be the same thickness, maybe I created them a little bit too thin to push them, is I could have taken some clay. Oh, I'm so sorry. The whole time I made those ears, you couldn't see them. Sorry, guys. So what I did was I pushed right here. I pushed to create the, the look that I was after. Actually, I need to extend it anyway, so I'm glad I looked up. All right, there's like a thick, there's a line here. So I'm pushing to give it some depth. There you go. Sorry, guys. The other option I could have done is I could have taken some coil, some clay, and make a little coil that we've talked about and how to make coils. Now, what I would do is I would roll it out super long, score it with that comb or whatever project and then set it on here and then comb this also and attach it onto here. That's actually what I'm going to use for his eyebrows. Okay. So the ears are going to set aside. I will be scoring these sides. All right. So now I will create some coil for the eyes because Yoda has a pretty distinct um, bend. And so I need to make two of these that are around the same length. Now you need to think, does your character have eyebrows? Does your person that you're creating, do they have an eyebrow? And if they do, this is a very simple, easy way to make an eyebrow as a coil. So there's some eyebrow pieces. Um, Yoda also has some creases above the eyebrows. So I'm going to make a couple more. I'm going to make like two of these. I like coil because they're not hard to work with when they're little to roll them out and keep them nice and even. They are a pain to work with to connect them. So if you have another way to do it, or just be careful, and I'll show you how to use a toothpick when I connect. Ears, check. Eyes, eyebrows. Um, eyebrows, check. Eyes. The picture I'm using for the eyes for them are just a circle. So I'm going to take a ball of clay. I'm going to roll it in my hands. And I'll get another one and try and make them around the same size. I'm making everything at once. So I'm rolling it to make the ball of clay. And then this method, you take this and you push it down to flatten it. And I now have the flat. 
I could also use this slab. I could go back to the slab method and I could cut a circle out. If you have something round, like a straw, you could poke it out. Once you cut it out, you can cut it out again to create a second one. All right, and then Baby Yoda has a little nose. Baby Yoda, the child. And it's really hard to attach a round, maybe a little bit more. It's hard to attach a round item and keep it round. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to tap it. against the uh, against my tablecloth and what this is doing is it is flattening one side flattened one side of it all right let's start building on to yoda so i'm going to start by scoring i know i need to score in this area to put on the ears and i need to score this area Um, I know I need to score a couple more parts on the face, but I think honestly, I'm going to wait and score as they go. I am going to do the ears last because they're going to be probably the most work. Score the side of the ear. Score the side of the ear. Great. Now I'm going to score the back of the eyes. Back of the eyes. I'm going to score the nose where I flattened it. Coils, I'm going to try and use my comb if I can. Comb. Comb. All right. My pieces are ready. Let's start attaching them. So the first thing I'm going to attach is I'm going to attach the little humps at the top of the head. Gore them, put some water on them. And these are like his little thinking lines. The possibility I made mine way too big as I'm seeing this. So I'm going to cut off a little bit of this one. I'm okay with that. Now when I'm done with my pinch pot, this will not go back. My famous head will not go back into the bag. Instead, at the end, it's going to sit out. It's going to have your initials on it. And then it's going to have whatever grade you're in. Sixth, seventh, eighth, it doesn't matter. Younger kids, um, elementary students, if you're making this, high school, just put your initials and your grade on it. Okay. So now I'm going to score how I want his eyebrows, his like little eyebrows to go. And I'm using my toothpick to score drawing it how I want it and then I'll follow my drawn in pattern there we go so it's got a curve right here I am off with how long my coils are so since I am I'm just going to cut them while I'm on here and give them a little squeeze at the end And then I'll put this one. So don't worry, as you're building, if stuff doesn't feel right, then just trim it off. Give it a little squeeze. I'm putting a hand in here too to help me as I push against it. Use the little thinker things. The child. All right, score for the eyes. And they're pretty spread out. And then I'll score about where I think the nose is. Eyes, nose. Eyes. He looks a little bit more along the line of like a Funko Pop. Probably than the real thing. But I still love it. My buddy. Mm -hmm. 
Now, currently, I like it so far. I just, it definitely needs the ears 